La Rochelle has been a great host city for six days of championship racing and we've seen an epic battle play out between the German and Danish teams. It's come down to a final day hit out, one race to decide who will be the 2012 SAP 505 world champion. Kalmar and Schorle from Germany have held the lead from day one, but the Danish-German pair Saugman and Gerger improved every day and was second by a single point going into the final race. The other Danish pair, the Boyce and Müller brothers and Bogaki and Dan from Germany are also within a chance of taking home the title. But this event isn't all about winning a world championship, and this morning the true spirit of the 505 class came out. Jim Berry is the oldest member of the 505 family and today he sailed his last World Championship race. They're fantastic, you know. I'll choke up if I'm not careful. <laughs> I'm 79 and I've been doing the World Championship since 1980s, early 80s, <laughs> and I've done every, almost every one since. I was serving in Iraq. Um, we had a yacht club there. One magazine I picked up had a picture of a 505 sailing on the Solent and uh, it looked so fantastic and when I came back from Iraq three years later I bought my first 505. It's uh, been absolutely fantastic. I have so many friends all over the world. It's going to be a huge wrench to leave it right but um, all things come to an end you know <laughs> uh, but it's been wonderful. Jim led the fleet out to the final race of the World Championship, a fitting tribute to a man who has given so much to this class. The World Championship showdown was fought out in 11 knots and choppy seas. The start today was crucial. The place to be was on the right, but overall leader Kalna couldn't get there. Salgman went with the Pathfinder out to the right, and at the windward mark, they were in good shape, rounding fourth after the French pair and Pinel from Great Britain. Ian Pinel took over the lead by the leeward gate, but the battle for the World Championship was further back. Boyce and Muller took over in second place, but Salgman was in third, and they had the grip on the title. Great Britain's Pinal won the race, but the championship was Salgman and Gerges, who had had an incredible week in La Rochelle. They took over from Hunger and Kleiner as the SAP 505 world champion. We are so happy that it worked out. We decided to sail together last autumn and uh, on the way back we also cried both. Now after Jans winning the World Championship already in, in 2007, it's his second, it's my first. It's unbelievable, the emotions are so close together, it's really great. Congratulations, Thank really, you. really happy for you guys. Winning the biggest worlds ever, it's fantastic. 65,000 SEP boys, congratulations. <laughs> hey, man. And I'm the worst guy. <laughs> it's been a fantastic week here in La Rochelle. We have a new world champion, and Salman and Gerga will hold that title until the 2013 SAP 505 World Championship in Barbados. We'll see you there.